for Ultra here. It's a little hard to say, actually, how this would necessarily go. You're not actually doing jack shit. Make your way towards Toulouse. The Communar army in the south is... I mean, they're not long for this world. We did take back Nice. Getting the commune down to 30%. So just a few good victories would be more than enough. I don't know if just Toulouse would be enough. Uh, no, Toulouse is definitely not over 10% of their victory point. But it would definitely get us closer to where we want to be. I think, yeah, because Brest were 15, you're worth 3, La Harvey's worth 10. It's clear to see where some cities that we need to take uh, are located. Another naval invasion up in the north. Like, Nantes to Brest. Like, if we were to take over Brittany, that might be enough to kill the French for good. And it's still a little bit hard to say. I'd like I said, another healthy tank down the south. He's an aircraft here. I don't know if the Americans have even decided to show up at all. I mean, again, nice that they did, but unlikely. But now the Canadians, of course, are actually going to get involved for once. It, it took them um, almost two years, but, you know, better late than never, I suppose. And then we got to start preparing our naval invasion to Britain. The final hurdle of the International. We might actually end up losing Paris. Of course, the Germans would then immediately, I think, probably uh, be able to move their way into the city. I'm going to send one unit here to uh, reinforce that. Of course, please strategically redeploy up north. I said strategically redeploy up north. Okay, that's another port occupied by us. Which is going to make the supply situation for... I mean, they're only getting... They can only get some uh, supply from this single port, I believe. Which is pretty bad. It would be a nice take to lose. So, you know, let's try and... No, no, no. Let's wait for this tank to leave. Now let's try again. Okay, Paris right now is safe. But for how long will it be safe? The great question for the ages. It was one victory point. We got a Spanish troop volunteering, I'm assuming. We did lose Orléans. But that's not so bad. We're at 30% still. So 10% is worth 3%. That's good to know. It's good to have a decent number for that. Albania, I think, died again. Probably sees the Serbia fall. And not too long. The Russian front is still a little bit messy, of course. And I don't know why Russia owns this territory. I'm assuming there's Russian troops around there. But why is there so many Swedish troops just hanging out in the north? I don't know. And Persia declared war on Georgia, but Georgia's in the Reich's Pact, so Persia just declared war on the Reich's Pact. And also a possibility against the uh, Russians as well? Russia is like wild in this campaign. Or not Russia, Persia's going wild this campaign, I don't really even know why. I want to connect these areas up. Apparently the Austrians have actually taken their last port, which I find kind of funny. Now down to 25. Persia is end hostilities. I'm assuming because Georgia doesn't even exist. Yeah, that didn't last very long. I would love Persia to attack the Russians, though. It would alleviate <coughs> excuse me, some of the pressure off of Germany. Which we do kind of need. What if we navally invade our way into these cities? It's risky. George has actually just got Annex. Okay. Orkney. 
I mean, you'll still have supplies, because you at least have a port connecting you with the rest of the Entente. But there's really not really any international cities in the south anymore. We really are trying to focus over here. But I, I don't know if there's any Entente forces even preparing to invade into the north. I mean, I guess I could. I mean, somebody has to. I guess that's going to be your two jobs. Your two's his job? How is Paris doing, by the way? It's still secure, still in the hands of our forces. You're not going to get encircled, right? I mean, you are encircled, but I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna stay encircled, right? That would be, be ridiculous. You died, you tanky idiot! <laughs> oh no, one of my beautiful, beautiful Sardinian tank divisions have, has, has perished. I'm actually, really sad about that. They were doing fantastic work this whole time. I mean, we are in a, like a weird situation. We do need more units moving in here. But I don't know when exactly that will occur. Okay, think back to loose, but I, again, that's kind of fleeting, I think. Got French forces. We're gonna kind of push back out of here. I mean, Greece is still doing well against Bulgaria. I think we will have to eventually send troops over there. Iceland's fallen to the Dutch in the West Indies Federation. Streamer to streaming. Welcome, welcome, da uh, Daniels. You are in like a weird situation down here. I'm, s I'm still, still flustered about my my beautiful tank though. I mean, I guess we can probably two hundred three. Is that even enough to build another tank division? No, it's enough for half of a tank division. But not a full one. Pull you back. At least for the time being. We still need more guns. The guns are hard to come by. You're actually going to take both these areas. I don't believe that's going to be... Uh, 11 victory points on our side. I'm gonna move my way up to board's breast as quickly as possible. We're gonna move our way like this. Need you over here. I need you over there immediately. You're not a port province. I really thought you were a port province. I guess we'll just send our entire army over here. They're 30, wait, how do they have 36%? They've taken back a city somewhere. I don't know which one, though. What city did they take back? I mean, they... Tours... It's not Paris. Oh, Lille. They took back Lille. Okay. I was say, like, how do they get so many victory points back? I mean, that's a little bit more understandable. And pretty important city they did take. We've secured ourselves an important position. And we have some Canadians arriving now. Excellent, excellent. As soon as Germany takes back Lille, which they should be able to do relatively short time. Want you all on this line. Don't want you moving to this province just because it's going to make my life easier. South for a second. You're worth three. Harvey's worth 15. 
in all cities that we do want. Now the Canadians have arrived. We hopefully maybe get a few American troops. Need to keep Bordeaux under occupation. I will say, I think it's definitely one of the messier Second Field Creeks we've had. We're back at the 30%. Lille is still owned by the British. Okay, Cosworth won. Come on, Bordeaux. Don't fall to the French. I believe in you. I don't know where this guy's going. Okay, the Harvey defended by a couple of light tanks. Nothing I don't think that we will we uh, wouldn't be able to overcome. Down south for a second. So we've got three, one, and one. So we got five victory points amongst these cities here. Harvey's actually completely undefended. Lille is still holding out, unfortunately. We've got American troops surrounding Britain, but they're not really doing anything about that right now. A couple of French troops, they should be killed in no time at all. You have Navy. What do you mean spend my political power on? I don't think we need to upgrade any of these laws. Okay, we have some French units. We got an American uh, artillery unit moving over here as well. Got a French Marine. I'm not too worried about the French Marine. He shouldn't really be a big issue one way or the other. I will keep putting pressure on you, though. And as long as we keep Bordeaux. It, it sucks that we don't have Toulouse, but I don't think Toulouse is going to make or break us. More American forces. More Anton allies. Or units. Entente! This would actually be a hilarious time for the AI to snively invade and kill me. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be funny. You're actually going to land in Brest in a moment, so you know what? Let's move you over here. Strategically redeploy as quickly as you possibly can, because I want to make sure you don't die. I can't tell. I think this guy might be going into... Okay, he's not actually going... We can kill you without too much hassle. Got an airport there, that'd be nice to take. Lele is back into German hands, giving the economy to France 21%. So There's not any city were to fall. Like one decent city. Such a Le Harve. Would probably get us where we need to be. I don't want to attack with this, though. And if we lose Bordeaux, it's going to make our life a little bit harder. But they compare. We absolutely love to see it. Okay. Let's bring our forces together. It's time now for the final confrontation. The final possible battle of the war. Let's not go here, though. Let's go to... I typically like this port because it's not an actual city. Because it's not an actual city. Usually the AI is less willing to defend it. Lead all this. From Calais to random unnamed port. Bring our units together. Uh, give me a military factory. Wait. I have never seen the AI actually request manpower support. I have, I'm not giving you any manpower. Are you kidding? Up here. But it should mean I should be oh yes. I'm not going to proclaim the Kingdom of Italy. I'm just going to proclaim Sardinia Piedmont. Because I'm not I'm not invading the the rest of Italy. Are you kidding me? Hey, Bulgaria likes to join the International. It took them long enough. It does mean, of course, that uh, they're going to get murdered because uh, Germany's going to invade from the north. We'll probably end up making them into a Greek puppet state. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure everybody will have no uh, objections to that at all. Look at, these, look at these horrible borders we've got going on here in France. Uh, but we will get those coal mines, finally. And do I actually have stuff I can trade? 
Do I actually have factories? I have a handful. Very, very few, but I do have some. Get steel from you. We're still getting oil from... Don't trade with the French Republic. Trade with someone who can actually give us a full eight stack of oil. Which I would say would be... Who's playing a war against us? Persia. Whatever. I don't care. I, I want to then trade oil with the Americans. Yeah, again, we won't have any factories, but whatever. Are you just fine? We want Belushistan. Which is this guy down here. I mean... I, I don't think we need to worry about Persia. We still own Paris. Oh, wait. We don't have this anymore because they took over our country. Excellent. Well, we'll, we'll save our political power for then. I, I don't think Switzerland is going to be a big threat to us. Thank you for whatever it is that you gave me. I want to send... Where's my navy? Send a, send a small fleet up north. We need to scout the coast of Britain to make sure that there's not too many hostile forces. They have 42 to 68. Of course, eventually they're going to get all the um, the French troops. I don't know when that's going to be, though. So we got to we gotta act a little bit faster. Or propaganda against you. Yeah, looks like the Greeks are now pushing their way into the Bulgarian line. I think you just need to take Geneva. I don't think it's going to be a big deal for you. At least I hope it's not going to be a big deal for you. Wait, can we leave this canal? We can, oh, our, yeah, no, we already were. Okay. Move them over here. And I want to get this naval invasion to work. Little, it's a little worrying. It's a little worrying for sure. But who else is in the international now? It's not really anybody we got to worry about. Dover's completely undefended. This port's completely undefended. Okay. We don't have no supremacy over here. Really? 16%, huh? We've got to wait for the, the Entente and the Germans to actually move into the area. Don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but hopefully it should be relatively soon. It looks like Greek forces are now going to be moving their way into southern Bulgaria. They're happy, happy, happy to see. By control. We got claims on some territory. But again, we're not at peace, so it's not like I can really do too much to claim that land. As nice as it would be. They are bombing my navy. Yeah, I guess they just return home. We know that it's relatively safe. We could even move our way into Dover. Twenty six percent. We just need more allied units in the area, which they sh they should be on their way. I just don't know where they are yet. Yeah, Bulgaria has been taken by Greece. Or Sophia has been taken by the Greeks, I should say. It's actually... Yeah, it's occupied. It's actually occupied by us. Surprisingly enough. I'm not too sure why they gave us the occupation. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. About 28%. I'll send my navy up north. It's a little scary because they could easily get murdered. But I'm I'm still not actually like that fearful. I think if you take Geneva though, that should be the end of the Swiss. The end of the Swiss means all this area is going to capitulate. And we can then proclaim Sardinia Piedmont. Which I believe should give us a very oh, okay, the French army is you can clearly see the French army has now arrived in Britain. And this is now the situation which I hate. Uh, which means that invading into, hell, okay, so you both fall at the same time. 
Oh, complete control here? Because technically we don't want Tehran yet. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering what the British AI is going to do. Because having, like, Fortress Britain... Incredibly, incredibly easy. But it sucks. Oh no, the British are in Dunkirk. I don't care. 72 to 11. I'm gonna send another scout ship. You're, you're both probably gonna die. But yeah, now that I look again, oh, look how many British troops are now just in the area. Like, you really, when you, when you kill France, you need to invade Britain, like, the next day. Otherwise, you're going to have this situation where there are so many British troops that killing them becomes almost an impossibility. How have you guys not taken back to Ron yet, though? I mean, these are troops from Central America. They shouldn't actually be a big threat to you. I think, I'm assuming both my ships were uh, sunk. No, they landed. Okay. And I'm assuming, again, if we look at every single port, they're probably completely surrounded with units. Yeah, you've got units now. You've got units. I mean, I would imagine that even the ports all the way up in uh, Scotland, these unnamed ports, probably also have a ton of units. Oh, the one by Glasgow doesn't. Thirty-two percent, fifty-four. Okay, so we're going to then. Do the good old have our entire army to stay in uh, the Isle of Man? It will prepare an alien invasion here because it's probably the only place we're actually maybe going to get something to work. Or against Persia. In I mean, it doesn't mean the mini India is fighting a two-front war, but also you're fighting the Japanese Empire, so you're, you're going to be have a lot of uh, a lot of things on your plate. But you should all be dead soon. These troops also, again, they, they shouldn't... Any troops in France are actually good for us. Because it means that they're not in Britain. So we encourage the British to try to retake uh, the mainland. It benefits us. British forces around here. Unsurprisingly, hey, look, they've now defending. They're now defending this fort. Anybody shocked? They shouldn't be. I'm actually gonna move. You know what? I'm actually gonna go to Ireland. Go to the Irish front. You can maybe liberate Ireland and then try to move our way onto Britain itself. It's still not going to be easy. Not gonna be easy at all. Okay, Panama, they've now are moving their way over here. Apparently France is now led by uh Nestor Macno. Probably the perfect time for you to take over the country is when it doesn't exist anymore. Dodge have joined the Rags Pact. You think they would have done that a little earlier, but better late than never, I suppose. Let's go for a final level here. More organization, more breakthrough. You love to see it. We still don't own Tehran, though. Let's just take the city. Just take it. And then I can proclaim my country. I don't know why I gotta make this so difficult. I guess we also probably don't need um, the attache from Germany anymore. It probably doesn't benefit me. We can probably also cancel our, non our military access through here, but I don't think we're at that point quite, quite yet. I want to move our way towards Dublin, probably Belfast.
using the on taunt to hopefully cover our uh, our weak points here. Here, I want you driving your way straight up to Belfast. How about you go to Limerick? Dublin should fall in a mere moment. Not going to be enough to kill Ireland yet, but they're going to be... Uh, they're going to be dead relatively soon. There's actually a lot of British forces around here. And should hopefully mean that'll be easier for us to kill them? 